Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting the DPC underscore watchdog underscore violation blue screen of death on your Windows computer. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So it appears that a majority of the people that experience this blue screen error are able to later boot into the Windows operating system. So assuming we're able to get into here, or if you have to get into safe mode, this method will work for you guys as well. So I'm going to just jump right into it. And assuming you're able to boot to the normal Windows 10 desktop, we're going to head over to the start menu and you want to open it up. And by just left clicking on it one time. And then you want to type in device manager. And the best match comes up should say device manager directly above control panel. You want to left click on that one time. Now on this screen you want to go to where it says IDE ATA slash ATAPI controllers. And you want to click on the little arrow next to it just to expand the view. Okay, so you want to select the standard SATA AHCI controller from this drop down list here. There might be other controllers listed here, but you want to select the standard SATA AHCI controller and you want to right click on it and then left click on the properties button at the bottom of this context menu. Now you want to left click on the driver tab right next to general at the top. And now you want to left click on the update driver button right here. Now you want to select Browse My Computer for Driver Software, locate and install Driver Software manually. And now you want to select Let Me Pick from a List of Device Drivers on My Computer. You want to select the one that says Standard SATA AHCI Controller, and then click on Next. It's going to say Installing Driver Software. This should take a moment, so just be patient. And when it's done, it should say Windows has successfully updated your driver software. Windows has finished installing the driver software for this device. Click on close. You might have to restart your computer. And even if you do not receive a prompt, I would recommend you restart your computer nonetheless. And you should be good to go. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys resolve this blue screen error. And as always, thank you for watching. And I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.